And now I recognize the ranking member of the Subcommittee on Rural Development, Entrepreneurship and Trade, Mr. Luke Meyer. Uh, he is uh, worked very hard on this uh, bill and is uh, a sponsor of the bill. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. Appreciate those kind remarks, and uh, I want to thank you and Ch uh, Ranking Member Graves for your hard work on this issue of uh, trying to make the SBA more responsive and uh, improve its operations. I think it's extremely important, and uh, your leadership is very much appreciated on this issue. And I think you've done a great job of putting this together, and I want to thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> keep my remarks very qu uh, brief here. Just uh, from Mr. Brown, you made a comment about direct loan. Can you expand on that, what, what you're looking for with your direct loan stuff? Sure. Uh, thank you for the question, Congressman. Uh, one of the things that we're seeing right now is that with, with the capital options that are available, um, many, especially younger veterans, in consider, consideration of transferability, um, are not getting approved for these types of business loans, um, whether it be because they lack credit history, whether it be because they have poor credit scores, um, sometimes, as I stated in my opening statement, due to their service. Um, what we are hoping to see is potentially a direct loan program through something like uh, SBA, um, in which if they did not get approved for, say, the Patriot Loan Express or um, a loan through a third party, uh, that they would be able to look into, access, into assessing capital through SBA and maybe have some additional measures. Maybe they have to do additional uh, small business training, and they have to actually sit down and really have someone go over their business plan. And there, there would be additional mechanisms uh, to someone that was going through it, uh, that was going to get a loan directly through SBA. Um, we've had this before. I think it was 20, 25 years ago. Um, but that, that's kind of the idea we're getting at, is that it would, it would give veterans that are not getting, uh, that, are, that are unable to get access to capital, an option. Well, I appreciate your comments. I certainly would be willing to work with you on that issue. Um, <clears throat> having been in the business for over 30 years, I, I know a little, about, a little bit about the direct lending. When the government gets involved, it doesn't do a very good job, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're better off from the standpoint of, uh, of being able to monitor and be able to do a better job of addressing the needs of that individual if you leave it to the private hands and have the, have the SBA guarantee it. I think probably if we could work on some sort of language that would allow it to you know, put some parameters in place, and boy, I'd love to work with you on that to see once if there's a way we could find up some, you know, you, and, and, you know you've in, in, indicated a few things here like some excess, you know, some more training or you know, put some criteria together that if they fall through the cracks of another program that there would be a, a way that you could uh, qualify for a 95 or 100 percent guarantee or something like that on in an ex, extreme instance where you know we've got some credit difficulties but if it's a veteran you know we would be able to at least take a shot with those guys to give them some help um, <clears throat> I appreciate your your comment about the direct loan but having been in the business for 30 years it's um, uh, the government doesn't do a very good job in direct loans uh, their, their experience has been very poor you look at what FHA did back in the 70s, they took it all away from them so because they, they did such a poor job and then went back to the lending institutions. And, and I think that we've seen that that's been very helpful to the farming community over the years to get them back out and get back into the guarantee portion versus direct lending. But I think you've got a great idea there from the standpoint, if we've got some problems with the VA portion of this, this SBA program here, we need to find a way to come up with some new criteria they will enable those folks to get the loans they need to be able to participate in the programs. If they're would, falling through the cracks, we need to find a way. Would the gentleman yield for Yes, a, yes Ms. Madam Chair. Yeah. Last year, we passed uh, such a bill with uh, not direct lending, but it's uh, loans specifically for <coughs> veterans returning from the war, 90% mm -hmm. guarantee, no fees. Uh, all we need to do is to get SBA to implement the program. Appreciate those comments, Madam Chairwoman. If you'd like to include something like that in this bill, I would certainly be approval, uh, uh, certainly approve that. We don't have to. Oh, it's oversight. We will bring SBA to inform us and to report okay. where they it's already are there. and implementing okay. the program. Okay, fantastic. Well, with that, I yield back. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.